Oh, God. Oh, that's got to hurt the hands. Yeah, that's got to <laughs> hurt. That did hurt. <laughs> hey, golfers. It's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today, I'm joined by Jackie, and Jackie's going to be doing some club testing for us today, particularly some older technology. We have the Titleist Tour model irons. These are blades, and these are built in 1991. We're going to be comparing 7-iron versus newer technology, and I'm also going to get her to hit the 2-iron versus a 4-hybrid to see if there's any differences. Jackie, how do you feel about hitting these clubs today? Well, a uh, little intimidated. They're definitely small, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I'm probably willing to bet right now that you're going to hit this 4-hybrid better than that 2-iron. Yeah, I would bet that too. Yeah, the two iron, it's definitely a small blade. I'm excited to see how well you hit it, but this is a good way to showcase whether you're playing the wrong clubs if you've got some older technology in your, in your bag, especially if you have a little slower swing speed, why newer technology is gonna help you out so much in this golf game. Jackie, to begin, we're gonna be hitting the Titleist Tour Model 7 iron. So let's hit some shots. Oh, oh, that's got to hurt the hands. Yeah, that's got to hurt. <laughs> that did hurt. <laughs> oh, hurt my shoulder. <laughs> so, listening to that golf club, it sounded pretty awful from my position here. It probably didn't feel too much better, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I honestly didn't hit it too bad, but I definitely... There was not a whole lot of forgiveness there whatsoever. <laughs> there was zero forgiveness there too. And we actually had one shot here, I think it was shot three, that you got a little bit thin. It was a little, it was a little bit lower full flight there too. And I'm gonna say, if it was cold outside, you'd yeah. probably be warming up your hands for the rest of that round because the vibration, I could just feel the vibration from here. Yeah, it definitely didn't feel good. Yeah, so that one was clearly a miss. It would kind of take that one away. But you can notice some numbers here. So your club speed, we know your club speed was 7 irons, between 70 and 75 miles an hour. So pretty good with regards to club speed. Ball speed was under 90. So that definitely stands out to me there as well, that you definitely leave leaving a little bit on the, disc, on the table. Higher spin, carry 115, go on 123. And we know that that is not your 7 iron numbers. No. So let's play a club that's going to be pretty close to your 7 iron numbers. I've got the Ping I210 7 iron. Let's hit this a few times and take a look at the differences. All right. That just sounded so much cleaner. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so much further. Yeah, it feels a lot better, too. <laughs> that was crush. Yeah, that's a, that's a different, different golf shot. Okay, so just taking a look at the numbers here, you had one that you clearly pulled. I'm gonna take that one out of the, of the numbers there. And now let's take a look at the differences in uh, these shots. So first thing we'll notice is that golf shaft that you're playing is a graphite golf shaft. That's what you're playing in your seven iron. I wanted to make sure that you find something that's very close to what you're doing as opposed to playing the steel heavy golf shaft. So mm -hmm. first touch on that field. Could you notice the difference at all? Well, yeah, I mean, the weight of the club itself is definitely significant. Um, felt that right away, and you can definitely tell just by my, you know, uh, club speed as well as the ball speed in general, too, that both of those things definitely got better. So, um, I, and I also felt like, you know, just coming off the club face smoother. Um, and then on my miss hits, obviously, I'm not feeling like my, you know, any vibration up my arm or anything. So there's forgiveness there for sure. Yeah, and custom fitting wasn't really an option back in the day with this here too. Mm -hmm. It kind of is what it is. You would kind of play that one golf shaft that would come with that club head. Now we've got so many different options. We can get custom fit. We can play the right golf shaft and the right club head and really make so many different modifications. So it's important to get fit for your swing tendencies there too. But you'll notice you picked up a little bit more club speed, almost two miles an hour would expect that out of a lighter golf shaft. The big difference for me right now is just the ball speed. I mean, you picked up some serious ball speed gains there. We're talking about eight to nine miles an hour more ball speed with the Ping I-210 than the Titleist Tour model in 1991. 
Uh, your efficiency was also kind of a little bit, little bit higher with the i210, much higher. And then the spin rate was a little bit lower. We'll notice when you're hitting the tour model, it was basically 7,000 RPMs. We'll notice 6,100 with the i210. Now a lot of that is loft. So the loft on the Titleist tour model from 1991, seven iron, would you take a, take a guess? What do you think the loft might be? Uh, probably 33. So the i210 is 33. Okay. This is 37. So. Over time, technology's yeah. changed, and there's definitely, definitely been the, the idea that distance is important, so we've definitely changed the technology. But it's, I-210 is definitely not loft jack, by all means. 34, 30, 33 degrees of loft is pretty much traditional for a 7-iron for a uh, player's iron these days. So I wanted to do kind of more player's iron loft differences there, too. But the forgiveness was kind of the big piece, because, you know, it's these blades kind of is what it is. I-210 being a cavity back just gives you just a little bit more forgiveness there as well. So that was, that was huge. So every degree of loft I usually like to say is about three to four yards. So I'd expect about 16 yards maybe difference between the two of them. We'll notice 115.6 with the tour model, 132.7. So just a little bit more, but it's pretty close. So it's more a lot to do with the, the loft of the golf club. But the most important thing is the height. So we take a look at the height here. So even though the club head is stronger with the pink I-210, who notice it flew higher in the air. So loft jacking wasn't caused the ball to go further. The center of gravity, the way it's positioned a little bit as well, forgiveness also caused the ball to fly a little higher. So big differences between the two of them. Now I'm excited to see the two iron. Yep. I know you're a great ball striker, so <laughs> I'm excited to see this. And then we'll throw in the, a hybrid to compare. All right. That is a very low bullet you just hit there. Yep. Okay, so Jackie, I'm gonna take that one that you got a little bit thin with the with the two iron out here, and let's just kind of talk about some differences. What's kind of interesting here is your carry distance with the two iron is the exact same carry distance with the Ping I-210 7 iron. So that definitely kind of stands out to me. Yes, it was a much lower ball flight. We're talking 30 feet in the air versus 72 feet in the air. So it was chasing out a little more. So if you're playing in the wind, yeah, great. But we always focus on carry distance with irons, and that's kind of the, the important piece there too. So how did the two iron feel? Well, it's <clears throat> definitely weird because it's so long. I mean, that's the first thing I noticed right away. It's just how long it is, so I had to choke down a little bit on that. Um, and then, you know, it's like basically straight up and down. So it's a little intimidating for sure. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, overall though, like the feel of it wasn't terrible, I guess. I, I mean, I, it, I knew off the face it was low every single time and I couldn't really, you know, get any height on it. Um, so, you know, obviously that's one thing that I noticed right away, just in the feel, but, uh, I mean, I would never put this club in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I would never tell you to put that club in the bag. So anyone that has a two iron in their bag, it should be out right away. Yeah. And I gotta say, I also felt intimidated when I did this test as well. I also did this test, compared the two iron to a four iron, and I actually hit my four iron a little bit further than the actual two iron, and that was blade versus blade. Mm -hmm. For your test, I'm gonna get you to hit a four hybrid, because we know that you play a, a hybrid in your, in your longer clubs. Mm -hmm. I think you transition at five, is that correct? Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna get you to hit the uh, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max four hybrid, and I'm just gonna compare, because it's pretty similar for guys to loft. The loft on that golf club, the tour model, is 20 degrees, the two iron. Well, this is 22 degrees, so it's got a little bit more loft on it. Let's just find out and see what happens. All right. Hmm, that was a different uh, shot. Okay, <laughs> we gotta we gotta take a look at this. This shot here <laughs> just carried 174 yards, going 191 yards. Yeah. This is the, this this uh, purple circle was the two iron. That was the four hybrid. So yeah, anyone that's good. playing a two iron, get that club out of the bag right away. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's see a few more. Okay. A little bit of a that sound hit. is just so much better. Nice. 
Okay, so Jackie, as I mentioned, anyone that's playing a one iron, two iron, or probably even a three iron in their bag should really seriously consider, especially if you have a little slower swing speed, playing a hybrid. Yeah. I mean, this is just this just showcases it right here the level of forgiveness you get out of playing the hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I I think the biggest thing for me out of obviously the distance is very <laughs> dramatic, but I also think just like being able to swing faster and like off the club face is just so much smoother. It, it just pops off the club face. You're getting good, you know, height on the ball. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really need to say more than that because the results just speak for itself. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Your club speed was only two miles an hour faster, mm -hmm. but you picked up 10 miles an hour more ball speed. So the, yes, the graphite golf shaft with the hybrid is going to feel a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. um, but it's, this is a huge difference. Your efficiency was so good with the hybrid uh, and then just so much lower with the, with the two iron there. Launched higher, spun more, better stopping power. So when you were hitting the two iron, it took 34 yards for it to stop on the ground. When you were hitting the hybrid, it took 20 yards to stop. So big, big difference there. And then the height. So the height is very, very important. So we know this still very high in the air to give you the stopping power and give you that carry distance that you're after. I mean, you are carrying the ball 36 yards for 36, 37 yards further with the four hybrid than the two iron. And it was going about 25 yards further. So big, big difference. This is just showcasing the changes in technology. Back in the day, we didn't have those, those options, but today we do. Anyone that's grabbed some golf clubs that's out of a garage sale and wants to use them on the golf course and it's got a two iron in the bag, please don't. That's all I gotta say is it's just, you, you get to enjoy the game so much better if you play a hybrid or, or maybe a fairy wood that's got more loft on it. It's, yeah, it's, it's night and day. This is where you're gonna notice a big, big difference in level forgiveness. So if you're playing older technology, make sure to come on into Second Swing to test out some newer golf equipment. You will really thank me for it you'll get a huge, huge difference in forgiveness and playability between older golf clubs. As I mentioned, you're playing something that is old blade. Maybe you're not the best ball striker, or maybe you are. Uh, come on in and we would love to help you find your new irons at second swing. So come on in for fitting and get fit like a pro.